yes hello and welcome back to another video from small axe music productions um yes guys i just want to do a quick 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 video showing you guys i'm not going to be long all right just how we, a lot of guys i'm seeing using eq and they are just boosting away but i'm going to show you how a cut is more important than than boosting remember if you have a tone already that you like um in most cases you want to take away the bad tone and um enhance the good tone there's not much you can do with um you know more so um enhancing um the good part of the tone but um um sometimes things or frequency works it things get in the way and counteract uh, each other fight against each other so taking away the unwanted tone is always better and that's why i always tell um my friends you know in music a cut is always better than a boost for example i have this this thumb here all right i have this thumb here that i'm working on right now all right let's pull on my eq <laughs> listen to that thumb it's a good thumb it's a nice sounding thumb have a, it's deep has a little decay to it but as you can hear you know there are some frequencies there that are just kind of hollow and you want to make it cleaner and nicer so um this is what i have here my eq in out Listen how boxy the thumb is right now. Listen to that. Alright? Okay, I'm playing the frequencies but my computer got jammed. Alright, listen to that. As you can hear this is the frequency that's not working so well with other frequencies so we go right ahead and dip it the computer need a restart so it's lagging but as you can hear as i took it down a bit there you can hear let's go down clean it up And we have a nice clean thumb right on the top end all right i like to look for the stick where the stick is and um you know try to maybe boost it a little bit there all right so on the bottom end as well I try to thicken it up and give it a, a you know like to have it um, sounding you know me more, more deeper and so forth so i would enhance the bottom end and that's a simple eq setting on a thumb all right in most cases that's what a thumb would need all right just to clean it up and clean out those mud out of those frequencies and you can see the biggest um, um change on the eq is actually a cut so to me you can even cut cut the thumb without boosting anything and it makes a, a big difference right so i could turn off these um these bands here and um and you can hear how much um this frequency that we cut out um enhances the thumb all right so always remember guys in even in the kick it's best when you can cut when you cut like this is a kick that i have here I have two kicking this session working with and this is what i have here just to kick to cut out there and get out those those boxy and free up some so, some frequencies to go out 
all right when you have frequencies fighting against each other then um chances are you're gonna have problem so it's best to cut the unwanted frequencies the frequencies that you don't need and it's the same thing with um bass and and so on you you cut out those frequencies that you are not um looking for um so you don't get a muddy mix all right so i hope this help you guys um to deal with your thumbs um better and the instrument a lot of people use the eq and they would boost and boost and boost but like i say a cut is more important because if you have a sound already that you want you most time you enhance it by taking away stuff that you don't want all right and um that should enhance that that sound that you're inspired um from all right so hope you learned something hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and um that's it for now